guys enjoyed my previous video and you got to know a little bit more about me and just uh, a little bit more about my personality the things i like things i don't like and right now i was gonna do this video in the morning but i am desperately not going to have time i'm not even going to lie so i just decided to film this at night um i hope the video or the camera quality is as good as it was during the day without the daylight <laughs> but i'm just hoping so so as you guys can see by this video this video is all about how to study under a pandemic now first of all disclaimer i am not an expert at this because it's also my first time going through this um it's also my first time also being under a national lockdown uh, it's most of our first time really let's be honest and i really just wanted to get into this video and speak about how we can actually help ourselves to focus on our academics during this time especially if you are a university student in south africa and you guys know that most universities are taking the academic program online and this means that they want the academic program to resume and it's kind of i know it's very unfair for our universities to also expect us to work or be normal under these circumstances there's nothing normal about a pandemic um i have a 50 50 view on what's going on when it comes to education of course i want students to study i want them to get their degrees get their education but at the same time i also understand the difficulties that really come with online education especially when it comes to the access of resources not everyone has the same or similar access of resources to study online as we'd like to um, even with the efforts of the university trying to make some sites free or data free um, it's still difficult studying at home because we can't have a not we can't really have a blanket approach to everything because not everyone has the same circumstances at home um, especially when it comes to family issues things that are just out of your control it's not the same and studying with the pressures of home then when you are usually on campus is quite different i understand that but i do um, believe that there are ways in which we can try to help each other in making the situation more favorable to us and it is difficult i'm not gonna lie but we can try so yeah let's just get into this video so first of all um one of the things that I usually um, always tell my to my tutlings or people I tutor on campus or I tutor from church is that you need to plan. My mentor always says when you don't plan, you plan to fail. And I have had to learn that the hard way. But um, now that I understand and I understand the value of planning, it's something that I truly, 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 truly always emphasize students to always do now what does planning mean planning means you plan out your schedule your daily schedule monthly schedule and yearly schedule but before we actually set out the entire plan we need to set some goals um, and it's all part of the planning process so first of all goals so let's start there sorry guys my camera not my camera but my phone battery died let me just i hate it when it's light yeah that's much better i was just adjusting the lighting so first things first you need to get yourself a journal journals are very important why because they help you keep track or what's going on in your life what you need to do what's outstanding what you've already done as well another thing that you need to get on top of a journal is a calendar it's that thing they right at the back so I'll insert a clip showing you guys how I actually do my calendar and what I put in it 
don't mind the ladder that's just short goal problems but what i'm doing right now is just drawing up my calendar and in my different daily blocks of april i put my daily goals in them at the bottom is a box where i write down my daily goals and my monthly goals and i have a color coding system that goes with it just to keep me on track yep So my calendars are all filled up with my monthly goals. So I have calendars for each and every month because I find that it's just much easier to track my progress, to track also, um, track my progress, also check, <laughs> sorry, and also check how I'm doing with learning new habits, how I'm doing with sticking to my schedule as well. So in my monthly schedules what i have is also my monthly goals and my daily goals now one thing that you guys must learn and that is very important is that when you set out goals first of all they must be realistic it must be achievable goals and they must be measurable what i do is that my daily goals all amount to my monthly goals so these two are not separated but they are actually intertwined and when i set a daily goal i know that that daily goal is feeding or is investing in my monthly goal so currently right now because i'm doing my masters in development studies we need to have our lit well all postgraduates who are doing their masters or honors not sure phd but yeah um need to have like their literature reviews and their proposal like soon by the end of these like two months and for me my literature review i set a goal for me myself and my supervisor that i'll have it handed in in the next two weeks so now the next two weeks in my daily goals i must make sure that my daily goals amount up to that standard that i've set for myself I've also had a goal of losing weight. So I want to lose about five kgs each and every month. And to do that, I need to set daily goals that are working towards that end goal of that monthly goal. So that's what I mean by setting up goals. You also need to set up your academic goals and take them very, very, very seriously. So yeah, that is point number one goals. Then when you've set out your goals, you now can go into how you are going to manage your time in achieving those goals. Now, do understand that being at home doesn't mean that you're now just the student at home, but you're not only just the student at home, you're also a family member. And family members contribute to the household as normal in, in every society there is. And what I mean by this contributing to the household, meaning that you do your chores, you spend time with your family, and all of, all of, the, all of those things that come with being a family member. And when you have those two together, those two together must be managed very well. Because now you are no longer on campus. On campus, you had the freedom to actually set out your schedule and choose okay this is what i'm going to do after i come back from class i can sleep anytime i want to i can wake up at this time at home it's very different because your parents or your guardians or your sisters or your brothers they need certain things done at certain times so you really need um to manage expectations this is my advice that i always give um as i said to people like tutor um, is that you you need to actually sit down with um, the partners your community that you have around you and actually um, express what you need from them so that you also do not have unfair expectations on your family and that um, they also don't have unfair expectations on you so you actually need to sit down think about um, not think about but express yourself very well to them. Okay, guys I need to study from this time and that time may I please rather than not wash the carpets in the morning But actually wash it out in the evenings. Can I do this? Can I do that? If you guys are understanding what I'm saying, yeah, just comment down below if you confused anyhow So you need to manage those expectations Another thing that you really really need to do um, when setting out your your 
your schedule is that then after those expectations are like managed you need to put timelines timelines are very important very very important because they keep you on track with um, your schedule with achieving your goals and actually working towards um, the tasks that you need to finish daily weekly and monthly so you really really need to um, try your best to actually master that skill now all this is great and good to do but it will not work if you are not being accountable now it's very 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 easy for us to want to do things on our own because then there's a huge freedom that comes to that there's nobody telling you hey you haven't done this hey you haven't done that <laughs> i know i know what it's like so this is why accountability is so important you need to have an accountability partner or partners you need 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 to so what do I mean by this so these are friends who are actually going to keep you accountable to your daily schedule to your monthly schedule and they will check up on you and you also check up on them and you guys actually feed off each other's energy in that way to keep each other not on your toes but to keep each other accountable and on track with the things that you guys want to achieve by the end of the day and this is so important i can't even stress it enough so for me personally i have accountability partners for my schoolwork for work work and just an accountability partner to keep me up to keep me uh accountable to the things that i want to do like this starting a youtube channel so she'd always ask me every day um, say, are you working in the graphics um, say, have you already planned out like um, your weekly videos what do you want to do what type of content do you want to um, take out what type of channel do you want to have your branding this this that so it's good for you to have that type of community and those type of friends that actually keep you accountable to your goals I cannot stress that enough it's very 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 important after you've done all of that then you go back to your calendar you write out everything that you need to write out in your daily schedules and your color code it's very important for you to use color and just um, just to keep well not important but it's also just to keep your calendar fun but it's also just to show that there's a system happening a system happening I used to struggle a lot with systems filing it's just used to be a struggle but now I love Excel spreadsheets I love things like color coding I like coding coding <laughs> everything of mine when it comes to me managing my expectations in this sense and work in me starting up a business or me starting up a channel or me reading and making sure that I'm actually on track with the things that I need to do um, so yeah guys it's very important that you do that when it comes to time management you just need to time yourself when you are doing your task so if you promised yourself to read for an hour make sure that your timer is on after an hour of reading take a break so this leads me to my next point you need to set time in your schedule or in your timelines time aside for you to rest it's no use for you wanting to be productive but you don't give your brain and your body enough time to rest you need to rest so you need to get sleep you need to get into a habit of doing things that actually activate your mind actually keep you up creative and actually relax you as a person so you need to try to find things that actually are contributing to your mental health in a positive way so it's not going to be any use for you to take a break to look at Instagram or Twitter or let me rather say Instagram or Twitter posts that are quite negative um, that just I don't know that just dampen your spirits it's not gonna be any use to you to do that if you are 
on Instagram or Twitter or want to go onto social media, go into social media to look at stuff that inspire you, look at um, YouTube videos that actually feed your soul, that feed your mind with more information and they just drive you to want to know more, to learn more. So it's very important for you to do that during your breaks. I cannot stress the importance of that. Um, even your like your breaks, make sure that your breaks are always um, the same length and the same period. So don't have breaks for like two hours. <laughs> that is not gonna work unless you're having a break to go and cook or a break to go and do to go and do laundry like to push in your chores inside your breaks unless you're going to do stuff like that but if you are studying and it's your study period so if you promise yourself to study from 9 to 12 o'clock your breaks in between those so every time when you study this is a trick I learned from my little brother actually 45 minute 45 minutes of studying then have 15 minute breaks intervals in between so really guys try your best to make sure that you are keeping your mind active but you are also getting enough rest it's very 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 important in your time management as well please set aside time to actually move around and exercise being confined at home is not an easy thing it's also something that plays on your mind a lot you're thinking oh no i'm not eating that much i'm just at home relaxing i walk around yeah it's guys it's not enough <laughs> just you need to move um your body beyond just you taking a walk from the kitchen to the bathroom you need to just push yourself a bit more and push your body a bit more to just exercise move it around it's this is good for your health it's good for your mind as well to keep it active so yeah just set that time to do that yeah at the time set time to eat uh, that's very important you need to eat while you're being productive set some time out to eat drink lots of water uh, and do not take that for granted another thing that I really wanted to speak about when it comes to planning is that make sure that your schedule is not so busy that you actually do not achieve your goals for the day so i start off when i know that i've slept and now i want to come back on into going into like a, a proper routine so i start off with just three goals and if i do not achieve those three goals but at least i achieve two i can go on tomorrow it's not such a big deal so also be kind to yourself during this time make sure that you are not setting yourself like seven goals in a day and then you don't even achieve three so start small and then you'll gradually grow as time goes by another thing that you must add on your schedule is consultations guys I cannot stress this enough People who do not ask questions miss out on so much in life. Till today, Omle, Mamelo, and Jingila are master students. I ask so many questions in class and outside of class. It's very important for you to get all the type of knowledge you can get from your lecturers, your tutors, not just because they're being paid for that, but because they do have a lot of in like a lot of information they can give you they have so much they can direct you on in your life in your career in your goals in your studies so it's very important for you to use this time to consult as much as you can with your tutors and lecturers ask questions don't be afraid um, to also express um, your limitations to them when it comes to school to Wi-Fi to data do it all guys um, it's very important for you to ask questions to consult because this will sh really 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 help in improving your work the more you ask the more you get to practice and the more you get to improve and understand your theories anything that you're studying whether you're a math student or political science student asking is imperative so guys please 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 do consult so yeah, 
guys that is my few tips for planning and um yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed my video i hope you guys will take everything that i've given to you guys into consideration and actually practice it out for those who are actually struggling please find my email down below just email me and i'll answer all your questions that you need answered also um please 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 once you have done your calendar um do tag me on instagram post a picture on instagram or on facebook um that's where i'm mostly at um, i am on twitter but not a lot <laughs> but just yeah post and um, tell me down below the things that you are struggling with currently under um lockdown things that you're struggling with especially when it comes to being a student and studying and maybe i can answer your questions and do more videos on that so yeah thank you so much for coming to my second video and actually watching it please do not forget to comment like and subscribe and thank you so much everyone for the love that you guys are showing me even on instagram i see it i see it guys and i appreciate it thank you so much see you guys in my next video bye sugar squad